All right, welcome back to Sosnovka. We are getting late in the evening. It's 8.30. Our harvest is actually ready to, well, our crops are ready to harvest. Our harvest is ready to harvest. That wasn't going to work out so hot. But we might as well get started. I have barley over here. While the hired help does all the work, we're going to cruise down and get a few cows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, don't wreck it. Don't wreck it. It's a half a million dollar machine you got going on there, son. Oh, easy to wreck it. I got all this equipment, hay bales, everything in the way. No wonder he almost wrecked it. So I've been doing a lot of jobs for the locals. Oh, come on. There we go. And so, uh, several of the fields along this long roll. This is uh, so cluttered. <laughs> Way to go. Way to not clean up your messes. I'm sure that a farmyard probably looks like this sometimes, but not likely when they're driving their massive combine through it. They probably don't drive their massive combine through it. Okay, it's not working out. Hold on. Now what am I stuck on? I'm stuck on something. We need to oh my gosh, this this button. This left bumper button. It's a real nightmare. Okay. While he's doing that, let me find our semi. Um he's not there. There it is. Anyway, I'll show you what I've been up to for the day. For the day, um, oh yeah, I'll have to since we're here. That we, we built that earlier. That's our property income so far. Sold seventy-three thousand dollars worth of wood. Um, Five hundred forty thousand dollars worth of bales. And our field jobs. Uh, I've done two hundred sixteen thousand dollars worth of field jobs. Now I had to. Oh God, I had to. What a nightmare! I had to take that that JCB telehandler and take it back to the shop. It was so unbelievably terrible. Um, the other telehandlers, the solid body ones, these ones over here, you know, these are four wheel steering, but the solid body are a hundred times better than this JCB articulated boom in the middle thing. What's funny is because this wheel loader is articulated with the boom in the middle. But this is a serious machine. You know, um, that other thing was just a nightmare. So I had to go trade it off with this. I knew exactly what I was going to get with this because I use it all the time. This big heavy piece of equipment not only can stack 32,000 liters of bales into this thing at once. It can actually do a little bit more, but it's it's a little precarious. You can also use it to roll the clamp here when you start getting stuff in there and level it off. It's a good machine. It's well worth the investment. I should have just done it 
to begin with, and then I wouldn't have lost out on any of the money. Um, so yeah, oh boy, what what a terrible decision it was to buy that until I got hurt. Uh, we need, I think it's right over here, it's my pig farm, my big semi-trailer for livestock, I thought I left over here by the pig farm, maybe not. Nope. <laughs> okay, I gotta keep track of all your gear here. Um, about where I put it. I have no idea. Other thing that I would like to start working on since we're here are these little community fields, right? So these three little community fields. I can actually right now they're just they're just on the screen is blue cultivated. But I won't be able to well yeah if you go down to cultivated. But hired help Workers won't work these fields until I plow them up because they're not officially a field. So right along here and this right in here, um, these ones are taken up, of course, because you know, this is where the greenhouses are, stuff like that. Uh, so we won't be doing any of those, but I'd like to start plowing up these little fields right here. Probably put trees there on this one and probably end up putting wood chips right here instead of using this field here. So anyway, while we're here, um, let's find the trailer, <laughs> the big semi-trailer. Oh wait, what's that on there? Okay, is it listed under a tool? Shouldn't be, but maybe it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's over by the animal dealer. Yeah, it's a good place for it, actually. It's good thinking. Glad I left it there on purpose. I didn't buy there so much, but the grass grew, so I drove around, cut all the grass, baled it up, um, turned it into silage bales, which you get $2,600 per bale, and that is where all the big money came from. And I'll continue to do that for a while until we can get some of our, I mean, really, silage bales, might as well do it while you're here. I'm going to beat the trailer real quick. Because you, know, you make some good money. And we're gonna need that digestive. We're gonna need that digestive to do um, farming with organic fertilizer. At some point or another there are some crops that won't be doing that way. Probably won't be doing organics with um, potatoes. Um, I've done some research on it and potatoes need a they usually get fungicide late um, to prevent some, some fungus. That the blight is called some sort of blight, black blight or something. Anyway, it was responsible for the, <laughs> the, the great potato family of, of Ireland. But it actually spread across the entire continent of Europe. Is he going to make it all the way across so I don't have to drive on the crops? Nope, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> Looks like we're going to drive on some of the crops. I try not to do it. And I don't have crop destruction on because my own personal feeling is the mod doesn't work, work like it should. Um, and from what I understand is if you're actually doing this out in the real world, the combine operator is going to call ahead and say, hey, you know, I'm almost full. I'm stopping at the edge of the field over here. He's not going to be driving down, you know, if he's getting close to full and he's not on the field, he's not going to drive down the field and destroy all the crops. It's not going to happen. Uh, there are times, obviously, where you might be out there, but, I mean, not only does crop destruction destroy your crop, the mod, it destroys all the grass, too. So if you're driving on the grass, look, no, 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 I'm not going to follow him around. 12,000... We can do one more, one more full load from them before it has to be emptied. So, in the meantime, let's go grab some cattle. Won't be a lot. It'll just be kind of a starter, a buffer to get us going because we need some so we can get the manure and the slurry. But yeah, so like with the potatoes, the 
potatoes are an interesting crop in the game even because it's the only one that actually uses liquid fertilizer in the planter or the seeder. So even though sugarcane, you fill sugarcane with granulates, and you have to, sorry, I have to use granulates in anything that requires granulates or I just or well at least a higher help than the not Where am I going? <laughs> where are you going? This is where you buy livestock right here. You put the trailer. So sometimes there's not a gonna be anything I can do about it. Twenty cows, probably do just two loads. Um, no, we're not even going to do two loads because that's $100,000. And going to need some other, we're going to need some cash in the back of it. Because we need the forage harvester. Although I'm thinking probably only going to lease the forage harvester for the, the first set of wood chips. But it's still, it's about uh, seventeen thousand dollars to eat. It. Twenty cows, it's not much. Forty cows would be better. Uh, but additionally, I'd like to. Well, I'll have some time. Oh, so all these long fields are, will take a hold there. I'd like to get some of these longer fields purchased. We need, we need to get some fields going here because our little. Four, it's not going to get it done as soon as the pigs are going to be out, out feeding us. <laughs> They're going to require more food than we've got. Okay. It's not much. It might give us about $3,000 of milk. Um, you know what? Back with it. Let's go back. We're going to get another 20 cows. We're going to figure it out. There's field jobs to do to make up the money. Not a big deal, especially on the big fields. There are field jobs to do. Maybe I'll do this after we get done with the video. There's I think, a potato harvest over here. Well, there's one right in front of me. So on 15 and 16, maybe I'll do those potato harvests. That'll, that'll be big time money, even though it's small field because potato harvesting takes forever. And I missed my turn, so we're going to turn here. <laughs> Don't worry, the truck has the big, the big, you know, crop friendly wheels or tires, not wheels, tires. It won't smash anything. You know, it's got those wheels on there, very specific. It's taken care of. Agricultural stuff. All right, good. So, uh, oops. Okay, we'll just buy twenty more. A little bit of a damper on our on our money, but I'll be able to make it up. Now, the reason you see the little cow humps is because when <laughs> when the the platinum expansion came out for FS17 and added sugar cane and a new map. It also changed the standard cows to Brahmin cows. So anytime you load your cattle into a trailer, they load as Brahmin. It's just a reed skin. Um, but you won't see Brahmin anywhere that the map doesn't have it coded for Brahmin. Brahmin, Brahmin cattle. What's with the humps on their shoulders? So we'll drop this guys off right here. And that'll give us 40. It's a good start. There we go. We won't get much milk today because we've only got four hours to make milk or to produce milk to make milk food. And you know what? This is it's, it's probably better to do this trailer close by. <laughs> instead of a waste. And then we get the harvester over here to get on top of this other field of barley. So I've got, I found a spreadsheet on the internet that shows all the value or all the cost and profit or profit and 
yeah, cost and profit of all of the crops. And yeah, so actually, in terms of anything that isn't grass or root crop or sugar cane, the most profitable is barley. Barley is the most profitable because you get more crop from barley for the same amount of seed as wheat. And you get just a little bit less straw. Now, the key to straw, of course, is to be able to... So, the spreadsheet had straw listed as selling 70,000 liters of straw. And I packed it all at once at $66, $66 per thousand liter. Um, now, it doesn't even have listed anywhere in Sasnaka what loose straw will cost or what kind of money we'll get for loose straw. But the total value between the soybeans and barley was $100 for an entire sale. Uh, the soybean makes it up because it takes uh, about half as much seed as barley does. Or actually takes 17% less seed than barley does. Um, the other thing is with soybeans, if you so chose, and the higher the soybean value, the closer the numbers get. But this is all depending on a base value of $66 for 1,000 liters of straw. So that's key, right? If you cannot get $66 per 1,000 liters of straw, then of course you can't make that money. And then you run into other scenarios. Um, actually, I think, I'd have to go back and look. I just did straw or wheat, barley, wheat and barley versus soybeans. But I'll have to look again. I might completely talking out of my ear here because sunflowers I think will actually be the most profitable other than you know so the most profitable in the base game other than grass the sugar beets followed by potatoes because you get a huge yield from it and sugar beets take the same amount of seed as corn does which is less than wheat and or barley the only problems that you run into is you do need a special harvester for sugar beets. But if you were going to only do sugar beets, corn and sunflowers, and soybeans, and I wouldn't do soybeans because, so if you wanted to come into the game and do only sugar beets, corn, and sunflowers, you would only need one planter, you'd need a cultivator, one planter, a plow. You would need two different harvesters, though. Um, yeah, it's uh, it was interesting. Now, potatoes are a little bit different because potatoes take a lot of seeds or a lot of um, what do they call them? I can't remember what they call them. Something like a seed tuber or some sort of like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's not like a seed seed like you, you know, like flowers. It's like little potatoes, or little slices of potatoes or something. And you put that in your plant, and you can see that with the potato plant. So let this guy work on that field. We do need another trailer and a tractor. The other thing, let's get over to the fence here. You see? You cannot unload the cedar, right? So this one has 428 poplars left. I don't have the ability to take those away. Um, so I think the best thing to do is to buy another forestry planter that has, that you can just use the trees and one for the poplars. And here's the poplars. Um, so, they're not quite ready yet. Let's take a look at the growth right here. If we zoom in, 
See, I think they might be ready when the corner's ready right here. I'm not sure though. Uh, it, I want to say it takes just a little bit longer. Kind of like potatoes. Potatoes take just a little longer to grow than most of the other crops. The other, the other one, other than the trees, of course, the other one, the longest, that's not base game crop, it's sugar cane. Sugar cane takes about three days, and on normal speed, normal growth, it takes about a day and a half for normal crops. And here I am driving across the field again. Rebellious. Rebellious. Oh. So I do want a different trailer for picking up the straw from that articulated one. But we're going to need it anyways. I think, I'm pretty sure that this little fit can handle a 40,000 meter trailer. That's 21. I think it can handle this one, no problem. This is one of my favorites anyways. So I'm going to, what's going to happen now is we're up against the time. Is I'm gonna take by this trailer, go collect the straw off those fields, and we plant them. Well, I'm heading off back to the farm. I'm gonna collect the straw like I did before, and then on the next the next video we'll work on those um, community fields over there that aren't really fields. So, so I just want to say thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.